Sunday night, my daughter acted out as it was mm -hmm. time for us to go to bed. It wasn't the uh, best night for all of us, and as a parent, I think most of us have felt those times when we can feel a bit overwhelmed. Um, I disciplined her because of a, as a consequence to something she did. This is something that's really rare for us. This is mm -hmm. not, it's a tool of last resort, but it's something that we do. And mm -hmm. um, I uh, spanked her bottom and mm -hmm. um, uh, she was pretty upset and she struggled to be able to share her emotions as I'm sure you can appreciate a seven-year-old will. Um, but that's all that happened was us disciplining, normal discipline to our child. Mm -hmm. And I'm in the midst of a process that we're, is playing out as we speak. And well, I have some exciting news to actually share about uh -huh. today. I spent uh -huh. all morning with Child Protective Services and the Department of Social Services. They agreed that the best place for our kids is back in our home. So today, we're going to be able to get our girls back. This has been a trying 48 hours, and I'm looking forward to an opportunity to have our family back together. I'm excited about uh -huh. that. But we have a job and a responsibility to continue to be a good parent. And mm -hmm. that's what I continue to want to work on and will strive to do. There were no restrictions they placed mm -hmm. on us other than us continuing to work to make our family stronger and better. They wanted us to try and seek some counseling and therapy as a family. And I look forward to that opportunity. CPS would not have released the kids mm -hmm. to us if they were at all concerned about where they were coming back to. Everyone who knows us in the community and has seen me as a father knows I'm a loving father, that I care about my daughters deeply. And I'm just going through a process and trying the best I can to mm -hmm. be a husband and father who's putting us back together again.